Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And here we have La Croix, which is a French newspaper. And the Catholic Pope did an interview. You're not going to believe what he said. Uh, one of the things he says, we need a third party to monitor free markets. Free markets aren't good. The guy's a socialist. Completely free market does not work. Markets in themselves are good, but they also require Fulcrum, a third party, or state to monitor and balance them. In other words, what is needed is a social market economy. So he's a socialist. We already knew that. But uh, here's where it starts getting juicy. Coming back to the migrant issue, the worst form of welcome is to ghettoize them. On the contrary, it's not necessary to integrate them, which is not going to be easy, Mr. Catholic Pope. In Brussels, the terrorists were Belgians, children of immigrants, but they grew up in the ghetto. London, the new mayor... Editor Sadiq Khan, son of Muslim Pakistanis, took his oath of office in the cathedral and will undoubtedly meet the Queen. This illustrates the need for Europe to rediscover its capacity to integrate. Well, Mr. Catholic Pope, that's not going to work all that hot. We're going to skip down. Here's the juicy part. Pope Francis, today I don't think there's a fear of Islam as such, but of ISIS and its war of conquest, which is partly drawn from Islam. Partly? That shows he's, you know, his wackoism right there is completely drawn from Islam. It's true the idea of con conquest is inherent in the soul of Islam. However, it is also possible to interpret the objective in Matthew's Gospel where Jesus sends his disciples to all nations in terms of the same idea of conquest. In the face of Islamic terrorism, it would therefore be better to question ourselves about the way an overly Western model of democracy has been explored to countries like such as Iraq, where a strong government previously existed, or in Libya, where a tribal structure exists. We cannot advance without taking these cultures into account. As the Libyan said recently, we used to have one Gaddafi, now we have 50. Ultimately, coexistence between Christians and Muslims is still possible. Oh, brother. Okay. So, here's the part. Basically, he's comparing what Jesus did to what ISIS is doing. This guy is out of his mind. Talk about liberalism being a mental disorder. This guy takes the absolute prize on that. Uh, Mr. Catholic Pope, sir... Maybe you ought to actually read the Bible that you uh, claim to represent, because I'm thinking you've never really read it. What else am I supposed to think here? What does ISIS talk about? Kill, convert, or die? Kill the infidels, chop off their heads, burn them in cages. Now, by contrast, I remember uh, Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, and the soldiers were coming to arrest him, and Peter went and chopped off 
the ear of one of the soldiers or something like that. And Jesus chewed him out, and then he went and healed the soldier. Now, by contrast, ISIS chops people's heads off without even thinking about it, burns them in cages, whatever. They're totally, they are totally, absolutely psychopathic. They're based on pure evil. That's all there is to it. They're pure evil. And they have to be exterminated like rats. Now, I know there's some things I don't care much for, like, uh, the, they used to have the Crusades. The Crusades actually did some good, because they are trying to head off the Muslim invasion. But there were people tortured and burned at the stake and such, and Inquisition. That's not a good thing in my book. But that's in the past. And Christians don't do that stuff today. At, at its height, I don't think there's anything like what we have going on with ISIS. I'm sorry. You know, modern day Christianity is not based on uh, conquest of I disagree with it theologically because they're not really telling the public what's actually in the Bible. I don't want to get into a religious thing here, but just FYI, if you read Genesis really carefully, you almost have to con you have to conclude that there was already a civilization on the earth when uh, Adam and Eve were. Created. Anyway, I don't want to get off track, but this idiot, I'm wondering if he ever even reads the Bible. I mean, he's saying, basically, ISIS is the same thing as Jesus and his apostles, and to me, it's just outrageous. I'm sorry, I can't, you know, I can't deal I'm very sorry, I just can't deal. Uh, you Catholics um, might want to think about booting this guy out of there. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know how much control you have. I don't know if you can demand that the church toss this idiot out on his keister or not. That's your business. He's not my pope. But just FYI, this guy's off his rocker completely. And you Catholics better think about getting him out of there if you can. If not, you're going to have to uh, wait until God, uh, dare I say this, the devil welcomes him to the infernal regions or whatever. Unbelievable. There you have it. Pope uh, thinks of Jesus and his disciples the same way as he thinks of ISIS. He's a total, utter nut job. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.